Are you right now stressing about something that you should be doing and that you should be doing something more productive than watching this video? If so, then this video is for you. Hi, my name is Tasmi Anishat, or Samir for short, and I'm a coach and healer at Nerd for Healing. And I help people with breakups and transforming their limiting beliefs to uplevel their lives. So, today we're going to be talking about transforming the cult of productivity within our minds. And what I mean by that is like this idea that we should always be productive, always be doing something, feeling bad when we're not productive, um, and not really giving ourselves a chance to rest and feeling guilty when we do. I mean, some of you might know logically that giving yourself time to rest is a good thing to do, but because it's just been so ingrained in us to always be productive and achieving and moving towards something, that, you know, it might be hard to actually let yourself do so without feeling guilty. So this is where EFT comes in. It's really good for helping shift subconscious beliefs so that it's not just the intellectual knowing, but you can actually embody it and feel it in your body as well. So EFT stands for Emotional Freedom Technique for those who don't, who don't know, and it's based in traditional Chinese medicine. I think it's always important to acknowledge the lineage of where these modalities come from. So, and it basically is psychological acupuncture. And the way I do it is, um, you know, you have the basic setup statement, which is, you know, that's common EFT 101, which is kind of going deep into what beliefs you have, just validating all the negative feelings that you have around the subject. Then what I like to do is release that and then replace it with what you do want to feel. So you can follow along after me and feel free to make modifications to suit you and what you're feeling. So as with all EFT, we begin with the karate chop point over here and an even though statement. So even though I'm feeling really guilty about not being productive and I feel like I should be doing something productive all the time. I feel anxious about all the things I need to be doing and I feel really bad when I don't do them. I get really hard on myself when I don't complete my to-do list for the day. And when I'm not productive, I feel like shit. Even though I know that I should give giving myself a break and that it's okay to rest, I still feel guilty when I do so. I just can't seem to get the idea that I always need to be productive out of my mind. I find it hard to just relax and not do anything. Sometimes my relaxation takes over into procrastination because I don't give myself a break. And then I feel bad about myself again because I'm not doing the things I should be doing. even though I feel bad about not being productive all the time. I deeply and completely love, accept, and forgive myself. I know the idea that I need to be productive all the time is actually bullshit. Rest is just as important as work. Play is just as important as work. I choose to release the idea that I need to be productive all the time. I choose to release the, the guilt from not being productive all the time. Because I deeply and completely love accept and forget myself. I choose to replace it with the knowing that rest and play is just as valuable as working hard. It is safe to rest. It is safe to play. I'm worthy of rest and I'm worthy of play. 
I choose to love myself enough to give myself that time to just be instead of always having to do and be productive. I choose to release the anxiety around not crossing things off my to-do list and be easier and gentler on myself around my tasks around the day. Because I deep brain completely. Love, accept, and forgive myself. <sighs> Take an inhale and an exhale, and see if that made you feel better. If you want to see more healing related content, you can follow me at my blog, nerdforhealing.com, that's number four, or check me out on Facebook at Yedge Healing Space or The Breakup Roadmap. Okay, hope you enjoyed that one. I'll catch you at the next video. Bye.